Hello, Star Wars CCG players, fans, and folks who just couldn't get enough after the Eclipse event this weekend and wanted to watch some more cards. Uh, Garrett Larson here, dead body on the forums and Slack and everyone else. Uh, here with the man who everybody knows his name, Matt Thornton, Major Bren Darlin. Uh, how's it going today, Matt? Um, running on not enough sleep, but doing well otherwise. It was a, you know, this weekend was a blast. Uh, everyone who was there was awesome. It, you know, I know you came out. It, it was an absolute blast. Congratulations to Sam Tashima for his victory. And, you know. Let, let's get to it. So we got a top four Gem PC match here with Nathan Russell, Bib Fortuna, who came into this as a 100 seed. He only the only major he'd played was Endor. He was fairly unknown, and he has absolutely gone freight train and taken it all the way to the top four. And then he ran into a little bit of a rough game on Thursday where he lost by 25 to Matthew Harrison trainer and so now he's got to come back from that and we do see Nathan and yeah, AJ and I were watching it, actually. we I pulled it up on my phone, and we were watching it and listening to it over the uh, car as we drove to Indiana and, you know, commentated kind of like, oh, this is... That was unfortunate. So we got Nathan, who needs to win by 26, and is playing Thrawn versus Matthew with QMC. This is going to be tough. Like, I, I was, for Nathan. And, and Nathan's a teammate. He's been working on playtesting with us. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not shy about saying who I, you know, who I'm friends and teammates with, but I do try and call a fair game. This one's going to be tough for Nathan. And, uh, okay. All right, well, I'm going to just, just turn on all the mics and see if we can figure out uh, what we've got here. So you can keep talking as well. You, you can top, pop in and talk when needed, and we'll wait for uh, somebody to say they can hear you. But it, it's Matt's – excuse me, not Matt. Nathan's line here has got to be get a real early beatdown in. Like, I can't think of another way to – beat QMC as Thrawn, and especially not by 26. Like, that's going to be a brutal... <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... Are we still getting no map? Yeah, I'm assuming we're still getting no math, but now we've got at least eliminated my echo. Is that uh, correct? Awesome. That's... It is less than ideal, because uh, listening to me talk is not the greatest. Uh... All right, uh, let's do this. Settings. So we see uh, Thrawn on the Chimera with uh, Pelion. At best, Ben, like this is his out, and he's gonna have to figure out a way to do something to. Uh... All right, you can try talking again. Maybe this worked, but you know, this is gonna be kind of his check, out. Check. Like, he got a great start for any other game, which, which is to say, go. he didn't he didn't activate Thrawn. He didn't activate the Chimera. Uh, I, I, I assume he pulled him with with Endor Shield, right? Yeah, and he hit the uh, 
You know, he, he's got Thrawn with Pelnon and the Chimera at Bespin on turn one, threatening three damage right from the get-go. And QMC's a deck that doesn't necessarily take that super early damage right away. Like, QMC, it it, it, it's a platform deck. You have to get your platform stuff out. Like, if Matt's draw is bad or Matt goes for the aggressive, hey, I'm going to flip right away and not know what this is, that could be a problem if he, you know, if Nathan can cost him a couple of, uh, couple sites. Uh, did Gimp go down for anybody else or is that just me? Uh, nope, it's, it's definitely, uh, refreshing for my, uh, on my connection as well. I don't think that it's just you. It was, awesome. Gimp was being a little, uh, a little wonky earlier in the last half hour, so. Awesome. It may just be some server issues. Could be. I, you know, and the fact that I'm still hearing you tells me it's not a my internet problem. So yep. now we'll just kind of talk and let people listen to us because that's really what they're here for. Like, no one wants to watch Star Wars cards. What they want to do is listen to you and me talk. So right. Exactly. Hopefully stuff. Uh... It looks like they got they, they got kicked out, too. And uh, let's bid for Juna just joined right. the room. So I think and... it looks like we're back up. So MHT is initiating Belden's Eye, all my urchins, grabbing Harkseth and the Overseer. Yep. Um, Bib, uh, pulls someone with Endor's shield. Get like, an Azul. I feel Please. like Nathan's at least maybe threatening a barrier. But like I don't know that it runs a lot more. Like I don't know that you see a lot of barrier in Thrawn often and like this is kind of his out. Like force MHT into sticking around for battle and hope he uh, hope he caught him before the Hujix. But I feel like Matt doesn't make this deploy without the Hujix or like an alternative to fighting some way to avoid getting killed on turn one. Uh, you're talking just, just by throwing the Hark and the Overseer out? Yeah. Uh, like, there, there's well, no he's got the Belden's it, Eye if you're not going Hark and the Overseer. Well, sure. I think I think the the play is typically to just not, just go for the first turn flip, and then yeah. it, assuming that the that the Docking Bay is in your deck, you get to pull that on the 7 side, yep. and then you just land Hark and the Overseer and run them away to the to the one o non battlegrounds yeah. and, and just that's... turtle there until you'll, and pull your pieces until you can go back to space. Yep, and that's what I was saying is if he's, if Nathan has like a barrier, that could be real bad. Or if Matt misses sure. the docking bay. <coughs> so we'll have to see. So, and he may have just done the Belden's Eye to get him into hand and not plan on deploying them until he gets, right? I guess he's... Going for well, he's the aggressive. Using, he's even using Rio's activation, which uh, you know that can be a little dicey if he's planning on getting uh, a pull later. But yeah, uh, getting this... two more force in his force pile. But there he goes for the first turn flip. All right, so he does get the flip. Doesn't look like there's any response to the deploy from Nathan, so he's going to be able to run Hark away wherever he needs him to go. Yep. And that's not good for Nathan's chances of winning by 26. But, like, that's kind of, you, you start to do the math when you look at this and go, Nathan needs to win by 26. That means he's only got 34 cards to put out or lose. And he puts out, like, 10 to start the game. He's going to put out another 8 to 10 just to do any sort of damage and get anything running. And it's going to be real tough at that point to be like, all right, you can only get drained for 10 to 15 force total. And frankly, depending on how Matt drops the docking bay and what he does, although it looks like Gimp might have frozen again here, up there. No, he's just thinking, like, depending on how Matt drops the docking bay and how he moves stuff, he might be, you know, facing a drain of two right away. Like, Matt right. can definitely... There's two With ways a ping Matt of one. can play this. Yeah. 
Matt, Matt could play it as a hyper-aggressive, I'm just going to make you lose cards right away and force you to have answers for the first turn or two that Thrawn generally doesn't have. Or he could go super turtle and just come out, you know, move everyone to the 1-0, and then in a turn or two, come out and be like, all right, well, now I've got 27 in drains. He missed the docking bay pull, I think. Or he yeah, it seems didn't like have it like that. We're already in Mufei. I bet that he activated it with Rio. I bet it was one of those two cards. Because he was seemed like he was yeah. acting like it was. And then he stopped and thought for about three minutes. Um, not three minutes, but... Uh, he might have he... He saw it with keeping. And was trying to decide if he wanted to take it or not. So he's got one force saved, which is certainly floating barrier. It seems like it, because he also didn't move uh, Rio in. He's he's threatening a drain of he's threatening four, a drain of of three, three right now. Yeah. So and Nathan paid to drain. I don't love that. I mean, he may have. Just I mean, not it's Thrawn in hand. It's it's Thrawn. It's Thrawn. So you, you gotta be to aggressive, pay. but oh, and MHT. Uh, loses uh, Yoda from hand and stacks it on the Thrawn effect. That's interesting. Uh, he Normally, gave... I feel like you want to hold on to. No, he lost it from hand. No, he's not going to try and battle in space at all. He's going to be running like heck in space. Sure, but isn't... I, but I, I, don't, I mean, I don't know QMC. I'm, not, I'm certainly not as good of a player as, as Matt, uh, as this Matt. Uh, but I I always assume that that's, that's the, um, the card you want to limit their destiny in space. Yeah, but uh, if not, you just, not you being aggressive in space. If you just, just never them. battle in space, you just run away from them constantly. I'm. I think you can do that. I, I think. Honestly, I think MHT's plan is to run away in space until he can't find. Uh, until he can find a Hujix, and then just say, "All right, I lost in space. I'm going to pay to drain you out." Okay. Because you don't need to stabilize. Like they, I think MHC's playing it differently than he would be to try and win the game necessarily. Yeah, he just needs to lose by twenty four or less. Because yeah. the first the first game was quite a blowout. <laughs> so he just needs to cause damage early, and this is the quickest way to do that. And we see the Thunder Flare with Kurgi and the barrier. So and that might have been the decision point. Matt was making in his force pal poll was does he grab the barrier or does he grab the docking bay and we see the Kurgi peak um, with Thunderfire being barriered there's not much else Nathan can do here I, I'd expect we'll probably see some draw maybe and you know, he might be able to get a Tarkin's... Uh, he can't even get a Tarkin's Orders off because MHT is flipped, so he can't cancel those drains. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think MHT probably doesn't lose Yoda in a game he needs to win. I think in a game where you're just... I got Overseer out as long as I can get my Hujix really on this turn. Like, activate 15, get your Hujix, and then it's just run away in space until you can't. And I wonder. I wonder if he. Possibly I, I wonder how how dependent his his deck must not be very dependent on um on celebration like most QMCs are. They will run like two or three copies to get through all of the cancelers and everything. And so holding the Besman system is very important. But right now MHT just kind of kind of seems to be selling out the Besman system and says you can take it. You can you can drain me there. I'm and he's just gonna plan to run it like you said, just run around in space. And so I, that he can at least get his drains. I, I think it would be far more important to MHT if this was game one. Mm -hmm. But like I said, this is watching this and watching that line. That's a this is match play, and all I need to do is get him low enough that I can't lose because it's not like Thrones got retrieval. So you play the hyper aggressive line. He's going with the hyper aggressive line of I'm just going to drain as quickly as I can and as much as I can, and mm -hmm. force Nathan to have a response. And I think he, the way he did it worked out well. Like he had barrier, 
Thrawn doesn't have a ton of barrier cancelers. Like, this was a... It, it was a risky play, but it wasn't a terrible play. Sure. And, you know, the he could have done the same thing on the ground. Like, okay, you drop on one of them, I'm going to barrier your guy, and how many ground guys are you going to drop? Right, because at the most you could drop, you can, like, a guy. Like, you could theoretically go, like, Vader, Morgan the Barrier, and then Morgan or Tarkin and kill Rio, but, like, you gotta But wonder, he's probably got, also has a path or something else, like, yeah. for the ground. He was probably not relying on that barrier for both, for yeah. evasion, for both. Look, yeah. And QMC is a deck that, weirdly enough, right now, the, the way the meta's playing it, the way it gets played a lot, he already went and got Din. Like, you can risk just getting the heck beat out of you on a rebeat by QMC going, Ayla, Din, Lando with gun, here's three or four Destiny, or, like... Mm -hmm. and, and I get to shoot, too, why not, yeah. Like, and retrieve a force when you lose a guy. Uh, yeah, like, who do you... Who, do you cancel Din for the retrieval, or do you cancel Lando for the shot? Because they're both adding a Destiny, and it's just not a good spot to be in. Mm -hmm. So, and all right. Oh, here comes a rebeat in space. Looks like he's got we do we got Leia's Maybe, resistance transport like, coming down to uh to Lothal. That doesn't necessarily feel like a great rebeat. Well, it's you're you're dropping another ship with with what three six power um for yeah, three so force, you're, you're and then you've got to place something you can put a bunch of like other pilots and passengers on. Or at least one other pilot. Plan. But, like, right now they're about even on power, and the Thunderflare's immune to... Well, it's just immune to less than four right now with attack position, but it's effectively less than six, because Kirk sure. can construct track two. So, like... Yeah, but a, a Din easy here... Kill. Yeah, a Din here could be real interesting, and MHD might be... Like I said, I feel like MHD's playing for the very quick... I'm going to decide this quickly one way or the other. And yeah. with it being Thrawn, I don't think he has to worry about losing by, you know, 26 unless something insane happens. And that insanity really needed to be a turn one or two, lateral damage, massive beat. And he didn't get it. And there's Solo and Din. So he's drawing three Battle Destiny in space now. Yeah. And Nathan and doesn't have a command and to stop it. And if, even if he did. There. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we've got... And he's already got four species in play. Uh, yeah, he's got a Mandalorian, yeah. a Corellian, an Ishutib, yeah. and whatever Rio is. Ardenian? Yeah. He's got Rio, Harkon, and Din. And, you know, not that that matters too much right now since there's uh, since Watering Hole isn't out, but he's already well on his way, and it's only the second turn. Yeah, and it's going to be real bad. And, yeah, in chat, you pointed out with the we're in attack position now, Din and Solo both came down for minus one. Oh, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. Um, and so he gets three battle list to me here. Yep. Oh, Din no, three of three. No, he gets oh, Din three. And... Din with an alien and Solo with Ray. Oh, with Ray. You're right. Yep. So, and apparently my dog's going nuts upstairs for a totally unrelated reason. So there's okay, a... So he gets a three for total power, so he's power 17 before Destiny. Yeah, I'm... Uh... Up six. This game might just be over. Like... I mean, it's not going to take overflow in space here, but... No, but it's going to be mop-up action. Uh, like... And he drew a three and a one. He, if he draws... Okay, he gets a four. four. So he which is, does break his immunity. Yeah, that's eight or nine total battles. That's nine with Ray. Yeah, and so minus two is me seven. And the one... Is just he's going to have to lose both. He's actually is going to take a little bit of overflow here. He's down... Seven and four, 14. yeah. He's going to peel three. Going to peel three and give up the retrieval within. So, 
My dog's yeah. upstairs, Chris. He's not. He, he's he didn't hear about MHD and his excitement. I think he probably. Uh, oh yeah, the admiral's order gives the immunity to the rebel transport as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that went all kinds of wrong for Nathan. Right away. So Nathan lets him sends Kurgi to use file to retrieve two. So we can get the last Jedi back because that was the that was the party top deck to the drain. Yeah, uh, it's uh, and Chris, he's definitely not watching the stream because it's just my kids that are home. And as much as I try and convince them to watch me on stream, they are steadfastly opposed to that in any way, shape, or form. As exciting as I make it sound, they are uh, not interested. So Nathan has 32 cards down now and six force. <laughs> uh, so he's got six 12 cards total he can lose or put into play before this game is officially over. And I just don't know of any... 12 cards that turn this match up. Like, th this is not an easy... Uh... No, yeah, this is... Might not be a puzzle that's solvable for, for Nathan. No. Uh, Matt plays uh, Ascension Guns for the second time uh, and gets the grab from uh, Nathan. Which is fine. Which like, feels... That's... Yeah, it feels like a, a bait. A bait a bait that he probably has something else that he that he probably wanted him to grab that is it would be yeah. my guess ascension guns is just one of those cards where like you if you have it in your deck and it's it's you know a, a deck like qmc where your opponent has to go to your locations or do anything or or they just lose yeah. uh you you can play it and you can play it over and over again and it's real annoying uh for your opponent and so it's Definitely could be grabber bait there. So, like we see Bill in chat say lateral damage overwhelmed could make things interesting. Um, we also see Dan say my kids don't know how cool I really am. They know. I'm not cool. This is what it is. Um, I'm not even sure that damage overwhelmed does that much. Like, all right, so you send everybody to use pile. It costs you two of your 12 cards that you have left to use to do it because Overwhelmed is a lost, and you'll lose the lat damage when you play it. And you'll have and to get to, like, 28 power in order damage, to do that. No, if you lat damage the oh, if you lat damage the transport, sure, sure. then you, any Star Destroyer can do it, because you just have five, so you just need to get to ten, so any Star Destroyer and pilot combo does it. But Nathan but has like, six cards in hand. I and, think. and all it does is send it to use pile, and Matt doesn't need Harkin the Overseer anymore. They've done their job. They flipped. He's dead. Good. Putting together, finding Leia's resistance transport, and then Din or Han. You know, he, he can put it back together in two turns. Yeah. You get the resistance transport in hand. You get Din or Han with keeping, and you catch the other one with Maz. And you can put that right back into play, and it's not good. So Nathan not giving up though he is definitely continuing to push and it is I mean there's already a five minute time difference on the clock mm. like if any match is going to you know potentially time out an opponent this would be the one where you know I don't think Nathan will do anything unsportsmanlike but Matt is pretty well known for taking a lot of time but I don't think Nathan can get him taking enough time that Matt can't just draw up at some point so I don't expect the clock to come into play but it is we're already five minutes apart and Nathan says well you used a lot of stuff let's see if you went light on ground and he drops Mara in front of Maz um, and I don't hate that because you're going to lose. On... Good. Yep, there was a rubber barrier. Yeah. Um, I was going to say we were waiting on Matt to see if he is the window was on him to see if he does anything, and that yeah. Yeah, like so I, he did have a he did have the barrier. 
And I think Nathan was sort of expecting that. You might see another character. Yep, so there's Darth Vader. This is what I talked about. You spread him out and go. So yep. now Vader doesn't down to have Rio's an fight. answer for Rio here. That does he have a path, or did he end up going light and Nathan's found a line that's at least going to make things interesting? Yeah, because he, he doesn't have a Hujix. Uh, he drew that for Battle Destiny uh, last turn, so it would be Unless unlikely that he has that. Two, which would be kind of a surprise. Could, I mean, in QMC, it would make sense, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but he... Yeah, we could see a path here. We could see variety of things, but... I, I think path is the only thing we could see that would actually, like... Rio covers seven. Yeah, uh, so, like... He's probably only taking a couple overflow out of this, although I wouldn't hate throwing the plus three, throwing the five out to get the plus three. Using the art collection and taking sure. the QMC just to, it, like, this is it, your out. And, you need an overflow battle. You need a bunch. So that puts him at, you know, that puts Matt at taking two overflow already. And there's, yep, the path. there's the path, and that's that's about it. Like, and you had to assume he had something like that. That's the only way that super spread, super aggro line. When you know or can reasonably assume Nathan's playing Vader, he's playing Mara, he's maybe mm -hmm. playing Elspeth. Like, he can drop guys that he can draw Battle Destiny with. And he might have Ice Heart. Yeah, so when he leaves Thrawn and the Chimera at Bespin, that's sort of telegraphing that he doesn't have a command. Like, because if you've got a command, I think you might move over and try and grind at Bespin. You're immune to a bunch, you limit him to one destiny, you're drawing two, like, let's try. But without that, I think you're kind of... Yeah, but I, I think at this point he's doing more damage at Bespin than he's taking at Lothal, and kicking Which... him out of space at Lothal, it, if he moves away from Bespin, then it gives then it would give um, Nathan a chance to set up celebration and then move over back over to Bespin, and then then you're in a much worse situation than you were if you just stayed at Bespin. But you're already in a terrible situation. Like you're already in an almost sure. unwinnable situation, and in the normal. The normal math, the normal way this works is, yeah, you, I'll take my, I'm doing three to your one and grind, you know, try and grind the game and stop you from celebrating and stop you from doing anything. And that might get you a win by 10, but a win by 10 doesn't help. You yeah. You're 25. saying he needs, he needs to just like so stop every afford, point of damage coming yeah, his way. He, he really can't afford to take even that single point of damage for too long or he's just going to lose on that so it'll be really interesting to see what matt does here matt went and grabbed a card with keeping mm -hmm. how aggressive he plays like a lot of his aggression it, like din is already up in space i mean i guess you could drop lando lando, drop lando or Ayla and Ayla or both and make things interesting play, a, play like a keep your eyes open so she can't swing or something like that yeah Honestly, I think you let her swing. Like, there's no... Why do you care? Fine, keep uh, real. I, I don't guess. care. Like, it... don't lose the force to keep your eyes open and just let it go. Yeah, if you can get Leia, Lando or Ayla... Honestly, Lando might be worse than Ayla. Because Lando, there's at least a shot he hits Mara and makes her forfeit zero. Yeah. Like, this is definitely, the, and that was kind of the concern, and I think why Matt was hoping, and there's Lando. Here he is. It's almost like We're... I do this occasionally and know what I'm uh, talking about. Well, yeah, I, bad for Nathan, <laughs> good for MHT, bad for the viewers because it means the game's going to go quicker and it's less time you get to listen to my very scratchy, I spent the weekend talking to everybody and anybody voice. So... That's my perspective is if this game goes quick, you get less of me and less of me is always bad. 
Uh, so he gets the he gets the activation from Rio for deploying Lando, uh, and then he throws Yacht's kit down, which is really just the let's go for the max damage here. The odds Extra of three power. the the odds of Nathan having the uh, three or having a Gick in his five card hand is pretty slim. This gives him the Yacht's kit where he can take Ayla into hand. He can redraw that Ayla into hand. Yep. yep. That's uh. It gives him a second. <laughs> draw at the five to make Mara forfeit zero and turn this real ugly. Well, there we go. Nope, but that just draws the other one. Mm -hmm. So So that's fine. Yeah. Hitting her was always going to be a bonus anyway. Yeah, hitting her is a bonus. Fine is, relatively speaking, I think Nathan is probably not thinking it's quite as fine. And there's the... And rescuing the clouds, canceling the... uh, well, the, the, the swing, the one destiny, the destiny of five. He's got a so second draw, though. Okay, so he and missed it's a two. the second one. Yep. Like, I would have, I, I, uh... So I now, know. if he draws low, if he draws under a four, you're, you're not losing anything. Yeah. Which really doesn't matter. Like, that. that's, uh... Matt doesn't care about losing guys from there, right? Losing a guy from there right now, that's, frankly, immaterial. So he draws the seven total, so he's at 18 to four. Mara forfeits for seven. Anything not big in... Oh. So he's... So he's peeling Mara and six, and that's effectively the match. Yeah, because he's going to be down by... Even if he loses all five cards from hand, then he he's at five from hand and then Mara... He loses, he's at 26, which is what he, he can not, no longer afford to lose a single point of force. And he's got five battle damage, too. Yeah, we might just see a conceit here, honestly. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be... Uh... You know, he's losing from hand. He's going yeah. uh, he's gonna, to he's he, gonna he's, never say die. He's going to grind it out, and, you know, that's fine. He's, you know, that's always your right as a player, and he's trying, and there went the gick from reserve deck. Like, yep, and so now he's at 24 life force. Um, 23. Yeah. And... Doesn't seem like there's a lot of outs. He, he can he still to take do some really damage. But... They, he took a really aggressive line because he had to. And... They both did. Matt was able to make a bet. Matt, I think, could have taken... Could have gone the opposite route and gone extreme turtle. Try not to get into any battles. Just drain... And plank damage and run him down on cards and then just draw. Like, Matt, I think, could have absolutely played this game a different way and it would have been equally successful in the I just need to not lose by 25. But Nathan but... didn't have another option. Like, that that was a Nathan had to play hyper aggro and get a beat down in. And he didn't. And he didn't. And he instead he got beat down, which is not how it goes. And it's unfortunate, but that is what QMC can occasionally do, is just with the ability to go get any one card from your force file any turn, you can put together some kind of nasty combos. And there's just a lot of good cards in the game now. Like like we said, and we're talking, like Ayla and Lando were both, would have been really bad cards, and MHT got to look at almost half his deck to draw, to find one of them to go after him. Yeah. So, and it was what it was. Um, I mean, MHT's still just sitting in move phase thinking. Yep, he's thinking about how to how to best close this out quickly. Like... Um, I would hate to see him go into the tank too hard and overthink this and have a decision timeout. Like, I don't think he's going to game timeout. He's got too much time left, and he could just basically at any point go, I'm going to activate everything, and I'm going to draw. What's the decision timeout? Five minutes? Decision timeout is five minutes. So he moves Ray from pilot to passenger. Uh Uh-huh. Which is really just 
to do something to stop the decision timeout from happening, I think. Yeah, it seems like it. Because that's a functionally a stall. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, not if you're not going to... Because now he's only got one and... pilot on the resistance transport, I believe, unless he moves her back. Yeah, he moves. So he moves. He moves the transport uh, and overseer no, back over and so puts her back to pilot. back into piloting. Yeah, like yeah. I don't really understand that move, except it was a. Oh, okay. For gravity shadow, you don't want to draw four. You wanted a three instead. Oh, interest. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Method I didn't to see it. that. That's uh, you know. There's a method to that madness. Fine. Because then only one destiny uh, hits instead of two. Or no, it, the four would hit either way. I guess it means a four would just cause you to be stuck instead of making the whole ship explode. Mm -hmm. um, so Nathan... And he just starts drawing cards. Because uh, yeah. he's now at the point where if he is able to lose... He, now he's at the point where he would be fine losing the game. Yeah. Right? Because at that point, if he draws up, he wins the match. Yeah. Uh, but it's a uh, little too many cards in this deck to draw up, so he's uh, yeah, gotta, he's, I mean, gotta do he's... it somehow. Leave six and passes with eight in his hand. Yeah, and he'll take a drain of one here mm -hmm. from Vader, and it's really, does Nathan have the command to at least make a battle here interesting? Like, if you've got Tarkin and you've got a command... In that three card hand, you can at least make this battle interesting. And MHD mm -hmm. loses Maz from hand. I I think I would have lost. Well, I guess he's if he's not going to just draw up, I'm like I might have lost from deck, but he's not going to draw up. So they're going to play this out mm -hmm. to the. They got a few turns to go to before he can draw up. So. I mean, yeah, uh, does Thrawn play any retrieval? Is that a thing that happens in Thrawn? I feel like I've never that seen I it. Know of. Yeah. Like I the only I mean Dark Side is fairly limited on retrieval anyways. You've got basically like first strike. First and strike like... and scum, and obviously you're not playing scum. And first yeah, strike and is weird stuff like ties and musicians can retrieve things, but that's you know, not Yeah, like... he's not playing a weird stuff that he's playing Thrawn. Uh so yeah, I don't expect there's a lot of retrieval. I think Nathan might just be saying, well, I'm going to try and pound some damage, and he didn't have the command, so he's got to run to Endor, which is does give him an extra drain. Of, it's a drain of two system, which is nice. Yeah. But so, yeah, MHT's, he's just spreading and trying to maximize damage yeah, uh, at this point. If MHT's got a yeah. uh, celebration here, it's going to be it's all over the crying. pretty much game. Like, yeah. That, that'll be... Uh, That'll be what it is. Well, I think what he really needs is um, uh, Ancient Watering Hole, right? That's Because that's what will close out the game quicker. Because you don't care about retrieving those four cards in your lost pile. You just want to, like, you know, you just want to yeah. end the game. No, a Watering Hole, so he's still at... He's at five species now. So yeah. if he's got the Watering Hole... I mean, at this point, if he's got the Watering Hole and another alien or two, you just go, all right... Drop the watering hole, spread on Cloud City. Vader can have the docking bay. We don't care. And there is okay. the only retrieval I think Nathan's going to have, which is Sith Fury to go get... Which is not really Vader's. retrieval. Not netting you any force, right? Yeah, it, it's not but... really retrieval, but it is what it is. And Nathan says, well, I'm going to drop Veers and the walker, but, like, where? You yeah, he's already... Lothal, where he's just going to drain for one. Like, you could probably drop Veers alone there and get the same yeah. thing. Yeah, he's, not going, he's, to, he's not going to Lothal. Go after him. Yeah. And, or maybe he's going to try and do Veers plus somebody plus command in a battle on Cloud City, but, like... Seems poor. We, we saw what happens when you start a battle in Cloud City, and it didn't go well. Like, I don't know that you want to do it again. And MHD gets Lobot, which means now at one side he's going to be able to react with an alien. And he's certainly going to have the force to do it. Yeah. So I expect we'll just kind of see a little bit of a spread and... Yeah. You know, some sort of like... 
MHC will probably have a combo of barrier and path to make sure he can't walk into craziness. And I mean, Nathan drew up. Yeah. Nathan's only got 17 cards down. He cannot win the match without some extraordinary circumstance. And I don't. Oh, there's some retrieval that he just lost. Oh no, wait, no, that no, doesn't retrieve. No, it's just dry. It's, uh, it's, it's draw. I think the uh, draw. Yeah, the retrieves. That's what I'm thinking. And there went a command. So yep. I'm... And so he's down to sixteen. And, and MHG plays aim high just because I don't know that you have any retrieval, but just in case. Just to, just to be on top of it and make sure. Mm-hmm. Make sure you don't and there's the watering hole like we talked about. That's the That's the card. I'm actually a little surprised. Doubles your then dropped Isard last turn when you know Watering Hole is probably coming out. And like, you also know that he pulled Ayla in from, from the Destiny last turn, so you know yeah. that that's in his hand. But it's also, you could have throw, could have tried to save Asard for the 1-0. And Matt says, nope, we're playing this aggressive. You want to do this, we're going to do it out. And mm -hmm. we see Cara Dune with Blaster. We see Ayla. Are we going to see a third alien? So it's... So I, I think we might see a fourth. I think we might not? see a fourth because you want to be want to be able to have draw two crack back with two battle destiny. Why not? Uh, yeah, we got Lo oh, we got Lobot. He's as good as a, as two aliens. So because there is a scomp link. Oh, well, Lobot deploys three city. free to Cloud City or a site with a scomp link, so he could deploy anywhere. It's just he deploys free there. I couldn't remember if he was still the deploys only on Cloud City. And there's an extra site. <laughs> Classic. I remember that scene from the movie when Ayla, Kara, and Lobot went to beat down Iceheart. Yep. Everyone and loves everyone's favorite part. Lisa at the cancel site. Yeah, or I think we're just gonna see a complete incomplete spread. And maybe yeah. maybe Maz by herself over at the Wooden Shock the dining room. And put Yoxkit over to the the one oh yeah. and and you're doing two, four, six, eight, nine, maybe, and honestly, possibly up to up to twelve damage. It might not even last that long. I don't think it. Yeah. Well, he missed the swing. Although, can he use uh, Yoxkit on that? He can use Yoxkit on that. He also gets a yeah. second shot. Okay. So I couldn't remember so if would, I... was only things he was involved in, or yeah. So there's the Yoxkit. And yep, there it goes. Hand. Because everyone loves Jar Jar Binks. That's, that's true. That's the one thing that you can say about him. Everyone loves him. Yep. There's definitely no one has you know spent the years of their life hating him and everything he... Why would you waste time and energy doing for? something silly like that? Uh, and there's a hit. Oh. Uh, no, that's, that's Battle Destiny. Uh, was oh, it was Battle Destiny. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't... He didn't go for the second shot, or he didn't... Yeah, he, but he, he reduced it by... Yeah, so four. he didn't even Maybe he... going for the second shot. He just said, okay, we'll draw Battle Destiny. He only had one in, in deck, so... Ah. Or he had, he had enough for, for the two Battle Destiny in deck, so he didn't want to do okay. the second shot. This is going to do so more damage 19, than getting rid of our four hit. So it's... Sard and four? Not Lobot! Lobot. Why would you lose Lobot? But he can, he gets a guy. Well, I think he's knows think that he it doesn't really matter. City. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I feel bad. Lobot had to die. Why would you make Lobot die? So and Nathan because he doesn't have a gun. Dudes from hand. He also, she, Cara Dune also has a species, so I think that's also part of it. Um, yeah, and Lobot doesn't, but I. He's got seven or eight species now, because he's got Rio, Yoxkit, Lisa, Hark, Din, Han, Ayla, and Kara. So yeah, he's got eight species out there right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yep, there's and Mazda over to the dining room. I am going to super spread and do two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve next turn. Yep. Unless you can do hey, something well, to hey, stop it. 
hey, you know, he could go to a third battleground and make that uh, only a drain of of two at the uh, at, at Lothal. Get the moral victory, say, no, nope, you're only yeah, get, me for yeah. 11. Oh, oh man, he's enough. he's moving over to the to the the two o also, so he's gonna be draining for. So Matt says for fifteen. You cannot win this. I'm just gonna end it as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's uh, like best case scenario. If you're able to go to one of those sites and get a beatdown in, like then he doesn't somehow have evasion or a hujix. I you're mean, not he's... gonna do enough to to dislodge the amount of damage that he's doing in the following turn. Like well and. and... Even if you are, you're still. You need to not only. You need to not only get the game ending beatdown on Kara, because okay, so he moves Ayla over with Kara just in case, because you you weren't. You have a lot less evasion on Lothal. Like mm -hmm. even if you were to say that. So now, what was the point really of moving them to the, two O. I guess it stops the Walker. If they, yeah, it stops the walker, yeah, and if they the if walker, they do any if they do anything to attack you there, you're you're, you're giving the, okay, great, you you got this. Yeah. Now you have uh, you're at a non battleground. Have that drain a zero and enjoy it. Yeah. So yeah, it's it avoids the veers. Be done. I apologize. I'm we, we uh, the drive home took a little bit longer. <laughs> Dude, uh, there's just it wasn't too bad. There's a little bit of extra traffic, and our stop at Steak and Shake with AJ took. Uh, like everyone in the town of Lebanon, Indiana was at that steak and shake at the same time. Uh -huh. So we were, took a little while to get food. So I'm running on uh, a little less sleep than I'm used to. And as an old person, I need my sleep. So I, I hear you. Not, uh, I, I had the first experience I've ever had of like waking up on a plane and having completely missed takeoff. And <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm, I'm in the air. There's a, there's a little, little, little City lights down there. Okay. I, uh, yeah. I've definitely done that a couple times with uh, different worlds where I took red eyes one way or the other. And I'm too old to do that now. So Matt stacks Charger, loses a couple off reserve. He's cancels the Vader drain just out of spite, it's I think. Because, yeah. <laughs> because I can, dang it. Yeah, and I it's know. interesting. They're actually pretty close in life force count here. So if you if you didn't know any better, yeah. you might think this is a close game. But uh, if you could there's... look at the board state and go, huh, where are yeah? All if you're just looking guys? at if you're just looking at the Gemp lobby, being like, oh, oh yeah, look at the life force count. Looks like it. Yeah, Nathan's keeping it close. Yeah, and there's a concede from Nathan. Uh, well played, GG. Well, well played, and I see uh, oh the steak and shake at the airport ran out of milk. Or shakes. I, I think a lot of folks in Indianapolis were shockingly unprepared for the eclipse event, and Nathan's yeah. just drying up. But oh, no, Nathan's I, doing the honorable seppuku. He, yeah, he gave the concession, but he's not going to concede. He's going to draw up all thirteen cards. Uh, yeah, he's just going to draw. Here's where MHT throws out a grim tash. Just that, no, I'm going to make it. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, I would respect that. That would be awesome. Yeah, keep that lost pile, though. Just in yeah. case. <laughs> just in case. I, so, think we're, I think we're past the just in case uh, yeah, scenarios. Is, yeah. So, definitely, like, thank you, everybody, for watching as we see uh, Nathan draw that last card up and uh, end the game. Uh, obviously, it was a quick match. We knew it was going to be quick one way or the other. Uh, thanks, Matt, for hanging out with me. Of course. Um Thank you to everybody who came to the Eclipse event this weekend. I'm sure we'll start seeing tournament reports dropping. Congratulations to Sam Tashima for winning it. It was a blast. Like, if you yeah. haven't been to a live event, you haven't been to a live event in a while, go. J just go. 100%. You, you, will, you will have fun, and if you haven't met us yet, you don't know, you know, you're newer... To the community maybe you weren't playing in live events in years and you haven't gone it's uh it's, it's very different when uh you you see actual people or other than just avatars and usernames and slack or on the forums it's uh suddenly those 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 all those avatars look different once you actually know the the people that are that are posting behind them and everybody 
is there to have fun. Everybody is there to enjoy themselves. Like we're we're a pretty fun group. It, it's a good time to come out and play. I know Randy. It's kind of where I'm saying this is I see Randy in chat and he came out from Colorado with this the you know hadn't played in the live had played in live events obviously but had never traveled to one of the big events and you know Randy yeah, we get gets welcomed with open arms like everybody is we, we just like seeing our, we like seeing our other nerds like I like seeing everybody I like having fun with people so yeah we, we lured him out to Vegas for our uh, for the Vegas states that Batmos was running last year and okay. uh, that gave him the bug for in person Star Wars that's, nice. that's how it we could pull you in. I think we've got the next event we've got in uh, in New Jersey in like August, and then Worlds in September ish. I think in uh, Germany. In Germany. And April OCS is going on right now. A lot of stuff going on. <laughs> lots of you know, lots of ways to enjoy Star Wars. Um, we do have a game. And of course, we have the 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 Gen PC, which we just saw the uh, the end of the the semifinals for. Uh, MHT wow. making it to the finals. And... MHT's making it to the finals, and now later tonight, and I'm not sure who's on stream for it yet. I know it. All I know is it's not going to be me. Uh, we have Logan Pedig, who's you know a teammate and friend and Minnesota local, facing off against Mike Kessling, and they play tonight at I think nine Eastern, and then tomorrow at nine Eastern to see who gets to face off against MHD in the finals. Like, yeah. Should be exciting. I th it was Kessling versus MHD last year's finals? No, I think it was Tom in the... No, no, I'm thinking that was the OCS. What was... Who was the, in the Gen PC? Uh, well, somebody in chat could tell us that and get a... Uh, I'm sure they'll tell us. Genpei IPAC out of it. It was Tom versus Kessling. All right, it was so Tom, okay. We'll give Dan a uh, Genpei IPAC for... Correcting us, because yeah, I knew Kessling took second last year. He took second two years in a row, so he's trying for a third year. You know, he he likes to be the bridesmaid. So, <laughs> but we'll see how it's going. Thank you all for hanging out and watching, and we will uh, catch you guys another time. Yeah, have a good one, everybody.